Just a couple weeks ago, I put up a video where I was doing a project working on uh, the, the snowplow, putting a new cut edge on a snowplow that my dad operates in the winter here in Newfoundland. Rural Living, is it for you, I believe it was called? I'll link it down in the description or the comments section there. I'd appreciate you go watch it. But while we were at that project, my brother was there working on it with us, and uh, he works in a heavy-duty equipment shop, servicing equipment, fabricating, mostly a fab job, but a lot of heavy-duty mechanic work too, I believe. He brought out his big Milwaukee um, M18 fuel, I, I don't know all the nomenclature for the Milwaukee, but it was a three-quarter inch drive, battery-powered impact gun, and man, it was incredible. It's the first time I've been around uh, a heavy gauge battery powered impact gun and it really sold me. I was just blown away by what you could get from a battery powered device in terms of torque, speed and its aggressiveness. Uh, he was telling us a few stories about how it just smokes most of the pneumatic stuff that they have in around there which is all top grade pneumatic style tools around the shop. It's just an incredible tool. Now, I did, after he left, I did go into digging on that Milwaukee gun, and the performance specs are amazing. As far as I can understand, Milwaukee is pretty much leading the pack when it comes to battery-powered impact drivers. They have the strongest on the market, the heavier-duty stuff on the market, um, stuff for working on semis and, and heavy equipment and stuff like that. DeWalt doesn't have something in that line, but they do have a half-inch option that is really high-performing as well. I, like I said, I did go in digging for that Milwaukee, but to invest in another battery platform, I just, it wasn't for me. I, I don't need it, even though I really like having the best tools I can get in my hands on and stuff. Um, and I love that three quarter inch drive, massive power, kind of nothing can stop it sort of deal. I wasn't willing to spend uh, probably 600 bucks for the gun and the battery and the charger that you'd need, of course, to invest in a new platform. So I went a different route, the DeWalt route, sticking to my roots, and uh, let's have a look. Now my first introduction to DeWalt was their small impact driver right here. And then a short while later, I went and bought their brushless drill. And uh, these are both phenomenal tools. This brushless drill is just beautiful, the features. But this driver, and this was my first experience with an impact driver. Man, if there's one tool out of everything I have here that I wouldn't get rid of, this might be it. This is just such a useful tool. If you're driving screws with this or small projects like uh, small automotive stuff, body panels, anything with the ATV and stuff like this, this is strong enough to break. I believe this has something like uh, 130 foot-pounds of torque, which is pretty impressive for such a small, uh, small impact driver like that. And it's really compact. It's light with a small battery in there. It still lasts so long, and it's just an incredible tool. Now, occasionally, I do have the need for some heavier automotive work. The main reason, twice a year, switching over all wheels on two vehicles, and that takes a little bit of effort, of course, especially with the truck. You've got six lug nuts on each wheel, and it takes a little bit of time to put my 20s off and take them, take them put my 20s on, take them off again in the fall. It's a lot of work and neither of these definitely will do it. Now you guys might remember that there a year or two I had the opportunity to work with banggood.com and the tool I chose from them was this half inch impact driver. Now I thought this was going to be the rig, the tool for me. Half inch, big battery, as you can see this is a 5 amp hour from DeWalt. It's fairly comparable in size. It's got a lot bigger head on it than the uh, the quarter inch impact here. I thought this would be the option, but it won't even come close to budging a lug nut on the truck. And uh, I, I'm not sure if it even would, even would do it with the car. On uh, on that testing video, I did a trailer trailer tire, a smaller in there, and it worked great. And I use it. I do use it a lot. Um, right now what I've been doing is I usually break them with the breaker bar first and then use this impact driver, this half inch impact to speedily take them off and throw them back on. But it's just not strong enough and it's a pain to everyone to have to break with a breaker bar. It takes a lot of time and effort. Then I went and bought, because I didn't, even though I like the cordless feature, I went and bought this big half inch Mastercraft. Not a high end by any means, but supposed to be powerful. 
120 volt AC corded. I figured this would easily break them. It did not. I still have to use the breaker bar to break each one loose. So this has basically become just a dust collector in the shop. I break them loose and use the battery one uh, to remove them, like I said, and put them back on. So again, we have the quarter inch DeWalt. Then we went to this half inch Lydian, which I was really impressed with, but didn't cut it. Now we have the half inch top of the line 899 DeWalt. So maybe you're watching this video and you're as confused as I was. You're not sure what model to get. From my understanding, the 899 is just about the strongest model that DeWalt makes, um, rated at 1,200 foot pounds of max torque. Now, the 899 usually is accompanied by a bunch of letters and numbers, sometimes more, sometimes less. can be really confusing. What gun are you getting? Are you getting a lower powered gun or not? And all the different nomenclature after the 899 refers to is the anvil setup and what you get with it in terms of a battery or a charger or a bigger battery or smaller battery, a kit, not a kit, a bare tool, that's all it refers to. So just pay attention to the ad. This is the 899M1. M1 refers to the kit with the 4 amp hour battery. I've got my 5 thrown in here now. A 4 amp hour battery and the fast charger. That's the M1 kit. And it comes with a bag as well dandy little bag here which can come in handy sometimes that is all so don't be confused about the gun if it says 899 you're getting this gun right here like I said about the different anvil setups um, some models have the hog ring this M1 has the detent pin so you have the one-sided ball ball detent pin there you can see it right there so that's all the, the naming changes whether it has a hog ring or the detent pin and whether it comes bare tool or kit what accessories it comes with maybe none at all maybe just the bare tool so let's take a look at the gun itself you can see we have the LED light here that's delayed which I love almost all of my DeWalt tools I have so far have has that LED light and it's just so good you have standard trigger reverse and forward and halfway position for a trigger lockout which is great with little kids around like myself and you have three speeds here one two and three and that drastically changes the speed look at setting one here quite slow setting two and setting three which is full power this model comes with the made in USA badge on the front you have this full aluminum front casing here. You've got all the over, over molding. This is a brushless motor, which is beautiful. It's going to be a little more conservative on power and get a little more efficiency out of that power. So you're going to get a little bit more for it. That over molding, really nice. It is a heavy gun, a very heavy gun, especially that 5 amp hour battery, but still so, so top heavy. But you want something heavy. You want a big head here for what you're asking of the tool to do. Again, in comparison to that small quarter inch driver. I mean, it's got a lot, a lot more there to work with. Now, even though I love the look of the gun, it's beautiful and big and heavy and strong. I love those DeWalt colors and oh, it smells so nice. None of it means anything if it doesn't do what I want it to do. I bought this thing to remove lug nuts really easily. I don't want to have to get the breaker bar and break every lug nut. I torque them to spec with, uh, with a torque wrench. What I want to be able to do is just snap these off of the studs, put on my wheels, snap them back on, tick, tick, with the torque wrench and that's it. I don't want to have to bring extra tools and break everyone with the breaker bar. So, I need this to do what it's going to do. This thing is built nice and feels nice and it's all over molded rubber and feels good in the hand. But it doesn't mean anything because it doesn't do what I need it to do. Which is haul off lug nuts very quickly and easily. And to some of you it might not be worth it for just homeowner use to pick up a gun this big to invest in it when you can just take the extra time and use uh, a breaker bar. But I'm looking at a really long term investment. 
Um, like I said, having a big truck with six lugs, some of you guys are out there running uh, half ton trucks, three quarter ton trucks with eight lugs per wheel. It's a lot of work switching twice a year, switching from your summer wheels to your winter wheels. Some of you guys obviously in different parts of the world don't have that problem, but here in Canada, I'm left with that burden. So twice a year, spring and fall, um, we have to switch all the wheels over. And that's a lot of work, it's a bit of a time commitment. A gun like this is a one-time investment and it should last me, I mean, a decade or more. Because you, it's just not an everyday tool, so it should really last. Um, and it was worth it for me. Something else that I keep in mind that I use a half inch impact for, and I always do with this one, is when I'm going on longer road trips in the truck, I always charge up the battery, pack this in my impact driver socket set. Because if you had a mishap on the side of the road, especially in this cold weather like this, man, it would not be fun having to waste all that time out in the cold, your family sitting in the truck waiting for you, trying to pop a wheel off to change a flat. A gun like this, I'm really hoping, like I said, it's capable. I can just wrap those wheels off really quick, pop on a spare, and uh, it'll do the job. So that's what I'm hoping for, to get away from the breaker bar and the, and the, the tire irons and things like that and have a gun that will handle it. So enough yammering, let's go and see if it does what I want. If it doesn't, honestly, I'll probably box it up and send it back. Now we have three vehicles here in the driveway, fortunately, each one a little bit more intense. We have a smaller nut here on the Ranger, then we have the Corolla back there with a 13 16 but a real shallow nut, and then we have the big ones on the truck here, which are 13 16 as well. So we'll take it up in steps. Okay, so keep in mind, it's the middle of winter here. I've never had these wheels off. Garage put them on, you know, that usually means they're on extra tight. We're gonna go with setting one here which is really, really slow. I can't imagine that doing much of anything except for uh, setting a knot back on the stud, but let's give it a try. Yeah, quite slow, let's try setting two. And there we go, on setting two, all right, let's drive that back on. Real rusty old nuts here from uh, and the older Corolla here, like you, you can see they're real rusty. Again, middle of winter. And these were put on by the garage last time we were put on with a pneumatic impact. So these are probably way over torque. Let's try setting two. If we can get the gun on over the rust. With ease. And these were, uh, that was far easier than the, than the Ranger. And now, the moment of truth. The uh, the truck here, six lug nuts, torque to factory spec. These were put on, torqued to 150 foot pounds, which is Ford factory spec, and then driven for a little bit and re-torqued to 150 foot pounds with a good quality, high quality factory torque wrench. So, I'm gonna try setting two, just because it worked for the, the bike and the, the car. Let's try setting two first, Let's see what happens. So setting two won't cut it for the truck. Let's give her setting three. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Piece of cake. So with that many ugga duggas putting back on, let me throw on the torque wrench and see where I am in respect to 150 foot-pounds there. Got that there DeWalt ratcheting torque wrench. Beautiful tool. This was a gift from my parents for Christmas. Let's see. Okay, so we're probably in excess of 150 foot-pounds there now. I don't remember which ones I did, so I'm just going to work my way around. in that one okay so maybe not quite as many algodugas but you can see we're 150 foot pounds make sure mr. Wingfield that you remind me in about two to three videos time 
to retorque that rim. Ripped them off with ease, which is what I was looking for. That's what I wanted, a way to uh, pull off lug nuts. That is pretty much the biggest nut that I need to remove on a, on a regular basis. I don't think I have anything around here that's more demanding than that. But if I do, I hope this will stand up. And if it doesn't, I always got the breaker <laughs> But uh, I'll throw a link down in the description. I hope you like this video. I hope it helped you out, give you a little perspective in terms of tool buying, and uh, give you some information on this tool as well. This torque wrench is so, so nice. Ratchet and torque wrench with uh, the set there in the handle, rubberized, it's a really beautiful tool. Comes with all certification and everything to show where it was calibrated. Uh, it's just a really nice tool. And this is a nice tool as well. I hope it holds up over time. Of course, we can't test that in this video, it's brand new. But uh, like I said, I still hope I've provided you some valuable information. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if there's something you'd like to see tested in the DeWalt line. I'll see what I can do. Always looking for new DeWalt doodles. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.